I bet you guys didn't think I was going to go live, did you? Yeah, I'm live. I'm all the way live. I'm all the way live. I hope I'm live. Let me see. Yep, I'm live. I'm all the way live. I'm all the way live. Welcome to 40 Entrepreneur Drive. This is Kenya. Un momento, por favor, while I share out the stream. And I hope you take a moment as well to share out the stream. I'm going to do an unboxing. Oh, what fun that will be. I've actually got three different items here that one I bought like a month ago, right before vlog. No, actually more than a month ago. I bought one about a month before Vlogmas, a couple weeks before Vlogmas. And then the other one, well, the other two I bought the same day, just a couple of days ago. Actually, you already know what it is if you watched, what was that? Self-Promotion 2.0, the video that I uploaded a couple of days ago. If you watch that one, then you know at least two of the things that I'm going to be unboxing. And if not, then surprise, surprise for you. Yes. All right, I've shared this out on my Facebook fan page. If you haven't checked out my Facebook fan page, check me out. It's 40 Entrepreneur Drive on Facebook. It's not my personal page. It is the actual business page for this channel. That's where I'm sharing it out right now. Right, right, right now. I'm also sharing it out on Twitter. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, I do post things on there that I don't post on the other uh, social media spots and let's see what else yeah I think that's it hey y'all it's me Kenya how's everybody doing let me pop back over to the live stream to make sure I am not missing anyone in the chat. Welcome to all who are in the live stream and welcome to all who are watching this on the replay. You can leave your thumbs up now or you can leave it later. Either way, let YouTube know what a fine job I'm doing. And I'll be much obliged. I appreciate it so much. Okay, this is the first item that I've got here. Like I said, I actually got this like a little bit before Vlogmas and then Vlogmas took over. Or might have gotten it during Vlogmas, but Vlogmas took over my life. I'm telling you guys, Vlogmas took over my life. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll, I'll probably do it again next year. So in either case, um, you guys know that... You guys know that I did an interview with my friend Homer Sargent, who is an entrepreneur and also an author. I gave him an interview in November for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month. And I used my Canon camcorder and I forgot to bring my microphone setup that I'm using right now. And so it was just the footage and the audio from the camera. It was terrible. If I had been planning ahead, I would have used something like a lapel mic, which is what I am going to be unboxing today. This, along with the other items that I will be unboxing today and showing you guys, um, they, there are links in the description that you can check out now or you can check out later. But the reason I got this is because... Make sure I can see myself. The reason I got this is because I do want to start doing more interviews, mostly with my coworkers. I talked about that a couple of months ago. I work with some very talented people, some very um, entrepreneurial people, and they're making money and they're balancing their life and their family and their job all together. And I want to know how. I want to know how they're doing it. And so I want to talk to them. And I, I believe this is going to help me out to have some better audio that will be right there on you versus wherever the camera or other footage might be. So this is Power DeWise. 
I went for, uh, I know at some point I'm going to get nicer things, more fancier gadgets, but just for me starting off, I wanted to stay on budget. And so this here I got on Amazon for like $39, $35. And it even says interview set. See that it says interview set, two lavalier mics into one device. And lavalier just means you put on your lapel there. Um, two lapel mics with a 59 inch cord, two extension cords, 79 inches with a Y connector. And yeah, let's jump right on into it. On the box here, in the, on the back it says, fully plug, fully plug Y connector into your iPhone, smartphone, iPad. Fully plug two microphones into Y connector. Start recording your speech with the video audio app. And it looks like if you've got one of those QRC reader things, you could probably pull up a video like so. Unplug the set from your device to listen to the recording. Usually that's all, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, if you encounter any problem or need any assistance in completing the above steps, please visit powerdevise.com forward slash guide or contact us. This set, con this set contains... Um, two lavalier mics, cord, Y connector, and storage case, extra wind muff, and a voice recorder adapter. Please remember that the meaning of your words is the most important in the interview and can make a huge difference. Why did they say that? <laughs> Why did they say that? Please remo remember that the meaning of your words is the most important in interview and can make a huge difference. That's strange, so... Okay, okay, so it's all bundled here in the in the bag. We've got a little info card here. Loss protection, how it works. Huh? Power device loss protection for your valued equipment, iPhone, camera, laptop, or even your luggage. So is this like those little stickers that you find um, in the stores? They're like security stickers? What does that even mean? Reward, call me. Reward, call 1-800-831-0717 or go to www.returnme uh, with the ID number on there. That's interesting. So it looks like you just take the sticker there and you put it on your device and you just, is that just a label? I guess it's just a label. How it works, activate and attach. Customers activate each tag. Oh, so it is a security device. Customers activate each tag by going online, powerdevice.com forward slash return, and then attach the tag to the item they wish to protect. If lost, finders are motivated to contact Return Me 24 7 via phone or online. We return. If lost and found, Return Me's recovery service will facilitate the return of your item from anywhere in the world at no charge. I've never heard of anything like that. Okay, so that's that part. We got something else on the back, a quick start guide and tips. Scan the QR code or visit the website. I don't have it. Well, I do have my smartphone here. Um, hmm, might as well. Let's see. I'm going to, I don't have a QR code um, app on my phone. And my phone's dead, so we're going to skip that part. <laughs> my phone's always dying. My phone is always dying. Um, but yeah, there's a QR code on here uh, and something about registering for a one year warranty. We've got another little band here. Easy steps to great recordings. Plug in the wire connector into the phone or other recording device. It says iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. I have an Android. You know what? At some point, I'm going to need my phone to be charged up, huh? I don't know how much I'll actually be able to review right now. This is pretty much just a an unboxing. But um, just in case I do want to show off some stuff, I probably should charge up my phone my phone is always dying it's an older phone the battery's not all that new and i just don't pay attention to my phone until it's like ready to die all right so i'll let my phone at least get enough charge to turn on while we go through this okay easy Easy steps to great recording, plug Y connector into iPhone, other recording device. Uh, step two, plug the mics into the Y connector. Step three, use extension if needed. 
Step four, start to record. Step five, unplug from iPhone to listen. And then we've got the little call number on the back. So I'm going to put this right here in front of me as I go through this bag here. Here it is again. Words can change the life. Record them perfectly. I just... It's not... It's just weird for some reason. What Does that sound weird to you? I mean, I guess it's cool that they put that on there, but it just seems... I don't know. Words can change the life. Record them perfectly. I think it's because... English is probably not the first language of this manufacturer. And... It just sounds off to me. Okay, what do we have here? We've got... Is that the adapter? Man, this is a really nice little plastic uh, bag. Like, it's not cheap plastic. It almost feels like vinyl. Oh, I don't want to drop anything. Okay, so these, looks like the wind, these look like the wind muffs. We got that one there. And this is the four to three pin adapter. It even says it on there. Four to three pin adapter for the PC laptop camera voice recorder. Let me switch over to OBS so I can see myself in real time. All right, there we go. We got this here. These are the two little spongy covers, like pop filter type things. And it even says so right there on the side. It'll say four to three pin adapter. What else we got in here? This is a nice little bag too. It's like cushioned. I mean, for 30 bucks or 40 bucks, it's not bad. Now what do we have? This is the... Um, I guess it's just the, the plug, just the regular plug. This is how long again? 59 inches, 59 inch cord there. With the other cord, it's just another one. Oh wait, one is 59, right? Wait, two extension cords. These must be the extension cords. Let me pull everything out before I start saying what they what I think they are okay so here is here we go two lapel mics with the cord so these are the 59 inch lapel mics so those must just be extra covers because it already has the cover on it and I would put it you know either on my shirt oh this little this little clip is kind of tough see that it's kind of like really really stiff really stiff I guess it's not gonna move and it's not it's not cheap it's like really hard metal so I'll put that on like so of course you'd want to hide it all the stuff on the inside of your shirt whatnot and this is the 59 yeah this is the 59 inch one so you could like route it behind your shirt or just under your shirt behind you something like that and like for my interviews that I want to do it would be me I, I would try to sit as close as possible like me and a person right next to the chair um, in front of us, and then we would have the phone, which should be charging. What happened to my dog on charge? I don't know how, but this phone came undone. But I would have the phone somewhere in between us so that, you know, the cords wouldn't have to reach so far. Good grief. Okay. Now it's charging. So that's one lavalier pin or lapel pin. Lapel mic. And here's the other one. It says plug tightly until you hear a click. That's what it says right here. And it got a nice little piece of a... Uh, we used to call them Velcro back in the day. Nowadays, you, just, you, you can't say that. You have to say hook and loop closure. But they got the nice little hook and loop closure here. Um, wrap for the microphone. Gotta do it like a little bit slow so it doesn't tangle like it is now. I found this really cool method. This is off topic, but not really. I found this really cool method of a way to store your um, cables. I don't know where I learned this from, but you like thread it between your 
you thread it between your fingers like so like you hold it and you put on your pinky and you put on your thumb and you put it on your pinky and you just go back and forth like that and that way when you unravel it, it it unravels perfectly and it doesn't get jumbled up like it just did for me but anyways all right so this one is on the side let me see my phone still hasn't come back on but maybe i can uh try it through my laptop since i've got my laptop right in front of me where is my uh let me put on my headphones to see if i can hear myself I can hear clearly now. It's I can see clearly now, silly. Okay. So, hopefully you all can hear me. Can you all hear me? Turn the volume up. Testing, 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 testing. Yes, I can hear myself clearly. I got the playback volume down. And where is my... Okay. So, this is just the one. So, if I didn't have my whole... Uh, Scarlet Studio stu uh, set up here. I could use this, use this one by myself, supposedly. And but, however, since I do have OBS set up to pick up from one microphone, I might have to go into the properties and and once it acknowledges that something has been plugged in, I might have to um, reset the default. So, give me one second. Let's see if you can hear me. All right, the microphone is now plugged in. And something popped up on my laptop. It says, which device did you plug in? Line in, mic in, headphone, speaker out, headset. Oh, I don't have the screen share set up on this, so on this one. I've got it set up on the other one. Or else I'd show you. But I'm going to pick microphone in. Remember my selection. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into OBS and I'm going to click properties and I'm going to see if there's an option to um, pick up this uh, power device. All right, let me turn on my, I got myself muted. I want to see if I can hear myself now. Back into OBS and... Yeah, I hear myself properties. talking through my microphone. I'm going to see if there's an Scarlet option to Studio. Uh, Let me go back in, this, uh, and I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to choose All right, Let default. me turn on my, you say we have default, I got myself microphone muted. array, I can hear myself now. stereo I mix, and focus right, which is what I'm using now. I'm going to hit and default just to see what happens. Yeah, I hear myself properties. talking through my microphone. I'm going to see if there's an option Scarlet to Studio. Let me go back in, this, uh, and I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to choose. All right, let default. me turn on. This is what I'm using now. I'm going to hit and default just to see what happens. Yeah, I hear myself properties. talking through my microphone. I'm going to see if there's an option Scarlet to Studio. Let me go back in, this, uh, and I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to choose. All right, let, let me turn on. This is what I'm using now. I'm going to hit and default just to see what happens. Yeah, I hear myself talking through my microphone. I'm going to see if there's an option Scarlet to Studio. be and I'm gonna keep myself muted because uh, I was not able to figure out what I was hearing it from if I was hearing it from my microphone or if I was hearing it from this so in either case it does plug right into the laptop let's see how hard this would be to well how easy it is to set up with the other portion which should be my phone starting up any minute now it's not all right the last part that I took out Get this off so I can see. The last piece that I took out was the Y connector here. I want to do all this unboxing today because tomorrow I go back to school, you guys. Tomorrow 
Ooh, it's going to be so hectic. And so I just realized I had so many things here that I want to share with you guys. I'm not going to be able to do it in the next couple of months. Otherwise, I would prepare a lot better with uh, my phone being charged up. But here's the Y connector here. My microphone. Oh, yeah, I hear that click. Yeah, you cannot hear that click. That's a nice, that's a nice solid fit. So my microphone would go here. The person that I'm interviewing, they could probably be across across the table from me. Like that's a nice that's a nice distance right there. Or they can be right next to me. I thought it might be a little cumbersome with all the wires and everything, but I think if you if you have everything set up and then do this part last and try not to move around so much, you shouldn't have an issue with anybody getting caught up with the uh, microphone. Thank you for the two likes. If anybody else is coming in, give me a like and, um, yeah, let YouTube know what a fine job I'm doing. Okay, so this would be person number two's microphone over here, sitting across from me or next to me. I'll just set it on my little curtain there. And then this part, of course, goes into the phone. So the phone would have to be fairly close to us. And this is the extension one. So if I need it to set the phone further away, I would use this part, male to female, part of the extension cord here, spread it out, male to, uh, well, the male to female part here, and set my audio wherever I need it to be. So that's the setup. I'm not going to be able to review because I came on here with my phone dead. I can't use my phone right now, but I did just want to do the unboxing. Now I'm going to move on to the next unboxing, which should probably be a lot more exciting than this one. But I'm really, I am excited to use this because like I said, when I did my interview with my friend Homer, the audio, the room was big. And so there was already reverb in there. And uh, I didn't put my microphone onto my camcorder because I forgot it. And I think something like this will be a lot better because you take away all the background noise and distortion and picking up anything else because the microphone is right there. It's right, right there. All right, let's move on to the next unboxing. Thank you to all who are coming in. I don't see my chat box right now because I've got some other screens up, but welcome, welcome, welcome. You are always welcome at 40 Entrepreneur Drive. I appreciate any and all who stop in even if it's for a moment, because I know we all live busy lives. But if you stop in for a moment and say hi, I am so grateful for that. Let's see. This is the Y adapter, right? No, that's the extension. This is the Y. I should probably attempt to put all this stuff back into the uh, bag so that it does not get lost. And that is a very nice bag. That's kind of a stretchy, foamy type bag. Power device. Easy vlogging, said so right there, easy vlogging. And remember y'all, words can change their life, record them perfectly. It's not perfect grammar, but I like what they say. I like I like how, how they said that. That's very, very appropriate to put on this kit. And let's see. This one, I don't remember what it's for, but I'm going to keep that in there. The two little cards, I will use that later to learn a little bit more about this product. And the two little extra sponge pieces, that's very convenient. Because they're so little, you know, they could fall off very easily. And if you're not paying attention, you might lose one. So that was cool that they gave you extra pieces. And let's see. And this is the method that I use for my own personal headphones. Like I would I would put the microphone there just to keep it from getting tangled. And I would put it on the other side of my pinky and I would just wrap it back and forth. I don't remember where I learned this from, but I'm glad that I learned it because to me it's very helpful. And then when you let it go, it literally just unravels by itself and it keeps everything from being tangled. Because if you try to do it like round, 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 for me, I found that it tangles up a lot like that. There we go. All right, part two. That is the Power to Wise interview set. Again, this, the description, in the description box, there's a link to this. 
I got this off of Amazon. $39, $35, something like that. Came pretty quick in the mail. Okay, part two. Wow, I seemed like that was really loud when I said that. Part two. This is the superstar. Because you want to be a superstar. Superstar Essential Vlogging Kit by either Cine, either by Cine or by DigiPower. I actually got this from Walmart. I got this from Walmart. There is a link in the description to a similar vlogging kit. If you cannot find this at Walmart, I didn't find this on Amazon. I looked for it on Amazon, but this is found at uh, Walmart. And it says the features are a video light. Compact rechargeable light uses 50 LEDs to eliminate your video shoot. Three color diffusers are included to create different lighting effects. Compact shotgun mic. The mic attaches easily to any 3.5 millimeter microphone jack and uses a universal shoe mount to work with all DSLR and mirrorless cameras. Three, a tripod. That is why I really got this because I, I, needed, I needed a new tripod. The compact multi-purpose tripod features a removable built-in remote. Oh, I didn't know that part cool and a smartphone action camera holder and four a bracket the angled bracket serves as a stabilizer and lets you mount all your accessories from your light mic phone or combination of all of them so these are all the things that are in here we got the smartphone action camera mount we've got the bracket we've got the tripod with the remote we've got the microphone we've got three color diffusers and a 50 LED light. That is awesome for 40 bucks. Where's my receipt? $39.88 at Walmart. That's awesome. And since there's very limited space in this uh, walk-in closet that I converted into my studio, I need to maximize my small space to, you know, level up my game without taking up too much room and of course it's affordable oh boy they got like tape on both sides they got those little circular tape thingies one in the back one on the sides and I don't have a pair of scissors in here or, or anything sharp rolls I just whoosh, go right through it I forgot I forgot to bring up my chat box because I'm looking at myself in OBS. My bag. My bag. I got <laughs> I got two folks in here. I'm so sorry. Hello. I'll try to chime in while I'm at work. Um, Laverne Dorsey came in at 227. Oh, my goodness. That's like 20 minutes ago. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had the chat box hitting. Um, Beyond Maggie says, hey. And Laverne says, do you have a new phone for this project? I do not. I'm so sorry that I didn't have that out there like that. I had the, there's so many different windows open right now that I, I, uh, I was a bad host for ignoring you guys. I wasn't ignoring you. I just didn't see you. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you can only stay for a little while, stay for a little while and come back and check out the replay so you can see these awesome items. But no, to answer your question, I don't have a new phone. I do need a new phone. My phone is, um... It's an older phone, but it still works, so I'm using it. This is by, phew, oh, that plastic stinks. Um, this is by DigiPower. This is the little warranty sheet that comes with it. Essential video blogging kit, user guide. And look at all those neat things in there. Isn't that cool? Doesn't that look neat? That's a lot of stuff for 40 bucks. There's a lot of stuff for 40 bucks. I hope nobody ran away because I was ignoring you. I wasn't trying to ignore you guys. I didn't have the um, the chat box. I like to pop it out because that way I can move it around and always have it on top if I'm paying attention. All right, let's see what we got here. First things first. Um, very lightweight, but kind of somewhat clunky. We have a DigiPower. Oh, wow. First of all, we have a piece of rubber coming off the bottom that shouldn't be, it's like, sticky. But, um, yeah, that didn't get pressed in place well enough. Little rubber 
bot, uh, bottom piece to give it some traction. Probably just came loose during a uh, transport, but that's okay. So yeah, there's some little rubber pieces, even though one came apart. Very lightweight. And you can hold it like, you know, as you're vlogging. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. Then you can open it up. Well, you should be able to open up, yeah. What was that? Is that cadmium nickel battery, right? Okay, we'll set that to the side. So it opens up. Now, what's all this? Look at all that. This is like Inspector Gadget or something. Y'all remember Inspector Gadget? Dun, 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 Inspector Gadget. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Inspector. You know what? I'm going to leave this to the side until I get to the instructions. Because it looks like something opens up here and some other stuff happens. But I don't want to break anything. But yeah, there's like that. And then there's that. Don't know what that is. Okay, so that's the tripod. Set that off to the side here. Here it looks like another type of battery. Great Power Battery Company. CR2 Lithium. So there's this one here. And then there's this one that came out of the handle. So I think um, when they say remote, the remote goes in here. Yeah, see that? Look, some kind of button that goes there. So I'll set those right here. This is the LED light. LED is the future, you guys. Have you noticed? I noticed in my area where I live, a lot of the convenience stores and gas stations have all replaced their, is it fluorescent? or halogen they replace those lights with LEDs so LEDs are smaller but they're brighter and they um, have produce less heat my ring light that I've got in front of me is LED it's still quite bright and sometimes it gives me a headache but it, it's not hot in here so these LED lights will get a nice bright white light and then these are the filters got a red filter how's it going there Doesn't seem like it snaps on very well. Oh, there we go. So we got a red filter, a white filter, which softens the glow. Like right now, my ring light actually has a piece of clear fabric-y type of stuff. If I took it off, I'd be super bright right now. Um, but it softens it up, so that's why there's a white one. Yeah, you can't really tell, but it's it's opaque. It's opaque. You probably yeah, you can't tell, but it's opaque. This one is opaque. And then we've got the blue. This is the shoe mic. I actually have one of these. I think I bought it separately and I put it, I use it on my uh, other camera. This is what I forgot to have when I um, shot the interview for my, my friend Homer. If I would have had this on there, it would have made a huge difference because this directs. Well, it doesn't direct, <laughs> but it, it, it focuses where the sound will be coming from. So that's the shoe mic. This is the bracket they were talking about. Very lightweight plastic. And it looks like there is a USB plug with the, I don't want to say old fashioned connector, but what do you call that? Type C, right? Type I don't remember what it's called, but um, we're kind of getting away from this. So I don't know how, how, um, how long this will last, like if I need to replace it. And then there's this piece here, which looks like it goes to the shoe mount, shoe mount, this part here to connect. Am I right? Yeah. But let me stop guessing and let me start reading. Let me start getting into the... User guide. It says, using the Bluetooth remote. Oh, okay. Bluetooth remote. The Bluetooth remote is located under one of the legs of the tripod. Oh, uh, okay. So that actually comes out. See that? Ah, uh, it is a remote. So that piece comes out. And I'm going to guess that there is a... 
battery in there already because see the little plastic tab you know sometimes in the store they'll have plastic tabs in there to prevent the battery from wearing down prematurely from people checking the, you know testing it so that is the remote it goes right in there okay from inside the leg push the remote outward to release it did that for first use pair the remote with your smartphone well let's see if my smartphone has actually got a charge now Look at that, y'all. 6%. This phone is always, always... It's faithful. This is my old faithful phone. I'm not going to talk bad about it. But it just doesn't keep a charge as fast as it used to. Okay, go into the phone settings and turn the Bluetooth on. Make sure it's discoverable. Okay, I'll come back to that. Press and hold the remote button for one second. So that would be this, the remote button. The blue LED on the remote will blink okay so there's a tiny little hole right there and you should see a light blinking it will let you know that it's in pairing mode on your smartphone you will set, see remote control the word remote control select it to pair the devices step five go to the camera mode on your smartphone then press the shutter button on the remote to ensure it's working on my phone Go to camera mode on your smartphone. Press the shutter button on the remote. Oh, to, uh, on the remote. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my phone just came back up. Let's check it out. I do have my phone plugged in. So as long as it stays plugged in, I should be able to go through this fairly quickly. And hello, hello to anyone else who's popping in. I do have the chat, <laughs> chat box up now. So I can actually acknowledge people who are coming in. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, I missed a lot of messages. My phone is blowing up. Whoa, whoa. Okay, anything else? Um, okay, so I'm going to go to the Bluetooth settings. I'm going to turn my Bluetooth on. And let's see. I'm going to pull this little piece of plastic out because, like I said, I'm pretty sure there is a battery in there. Or not. Now it feels light. Let's find out. Is there a battery in here? Seems like I'm going to need like a quarter or something to open this up. I don't want to hurt my nail. Oh, yeah. There's a battery that already comes in there. That's just a backup battery, unless there's something else that requires a battery. So let me put this back on. Good thing I have short nails, because that way I can use my thumb without, like, fear of breaking my nail. All right, I think that's on there pretty good. All right, so I've got my Bluetooth on. going to press refresh and press and hold this for one second. Let me know if y'all see it blinking. See the blinking? Yep, and it came up. It says remote. Remote control. Pairing. It's taking a long time to pair. Do I need to hold it again? Okay, still blinking. Remote control, pair. Okay, it is now connected. Now I am going to go to my camera settings. And I'm going to keep it on selfie mode so you guys can see. If you can see anything. All right, so put something down here that you can see that will pick up. See, this light is so bright. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it takes a picture. Well, even if you didn't see it, you heard it, didn't you? Yeah, took a picture. There's my picture there. 
Ta-da! <laughs> With my eyes closed. All right, so that is now paired. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. Using the camera phone mount. Okay, using the camera phone mount, which is this part, right? Okay, yes. Camera phone mount. Open up the tripod and look under the legs for the phone mount. Is that what that is? Okay. So this is a phone mount. Grab the top and bottom of the mount and pull to release it from the pod. Grab the top and the bottom. Oh, man. Now I really feel like I'm going to break a nail. They say grab it from the top and bottom. I grabbed it from the side. I mean, maybe you can do it that way, but I know I have my little fat fingers in the way. It was in there like so, and I just kind of wiggled it out or pressed, I pressed, applied pressure from the side. So this is the mount. Is this the mount? That can't be the mount. Am I looking at the right thing? That's not a mount, right? That's like a screw, a turn screw. Grab the top and bottom of the mount and pull to release it from the from the tripod. Grab the top and bottom of the mount and pull. I don't want to break this thing. Maybe I'm pulling on the wrong part. I just pulled something out here. Ah, that's what they mean. You see that? When they say pull out the top and the bottom, I'm thinking they're saying, I'm thinking they're telling me to like pull the top and the bottom, but from the inside, from the inside, you want to like pull upward and pull downward. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Weird. Okay. And now it looks like the picture. Yes. Okay, grab the top and the bottom of the mount and pull to release it from the tripod. Now I feel like I broke it. Hmm. But it came out. It did come out. That is the that is the uh, phone mount. That's a neat little place to store it away. Oh, okay, I see what they mean. Yeah, it's in there kind of snug, a little tight, and you feel like you're probably going to break it, but um, it's not broken. It fits in there, like, just right. All right, let's see what's the next part. At, attach it to the top of the tripod by screwing the bottom part of the mount into the top of the tripod. So there's a little metal, there's a little metal um, threading there on the top on the bottom that's going to connect to this like that and like so all right i should add that this this ball joint thing here does move around so you probably have to hold on to it while you're screwing that in there and don't don't over tighten it because i can feel it already it's like very lightweight and it doesn't want to go any further than it needs to. What next? Attach it to the top of the tripod by screwing the bottom part of the mount onto the top of the tripod. Yep, did that. Number four, open up both the tops and the bottom panels. <laughs> I figured that part out. Did that. Open up the, both the top and the bottom uh, panels by pulling upwards. Get enough space to insert your phone sideways into the mount. Now, it doesn't seem like it... Oh, it does. I was going to say, it doesn't seem like that opens up, but there's a spring in there. And it shows a picture of a GoPro. And it shows a picture of a smartphone. See, we're at this part right here. I just, oops, everything's in there. I just did this part. I took it out of there. I screwed it to the top. And now I'm going to put my smartphone in there. And that's a picture of a GoPro. Uh, mom is bum. Hey, you're new. You get a star. I don't have my 
phone on me right now, but I get a start to new people. Mom is bomb. Yay, unboxing. Yes, welcome. Um, if you want to watch the replay, you will see me do a unboxing because there's going to be three things that I got. And this is the first one. It's a lapel mic kit by Power Wise. And then now we are doing the... Um, now we're doing the Superstar Essential Vlogging Kit. The lapel kit I got from Amazon. This I got from Walmart. And the other item that I'm going to unbox is also from Amazon. So welcome. Thanks for showing up. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button. And you can stop on by any time. All right, let's see. Go back to the instructions. Mom the bomb. I like that. Mom is bomb. Mothers are the bomb. All right, now we're going to, uh, oh yeah, now this is the point where I'm supposed to be trying to put in my smartphone. Complaints that I've seen or reviews that I've seen all say pretty much the same thing. If you have a cover on your smartphone, it just that little bit of extra girth sometimes makes it hard, but I'm going to find out. Now look at this. See how it's moving all around? This is the tripod, right? It's moving around. There's a screw right here that should keep this in place. So I'm going to keep it upright and I'm going to tighten this little knob in the back to stop that ball joint from moving around not too tight though yeah it's it's in place now and it like I said there's a spring in there so I don't know how how wide it goes but we're gonna see if it will fit my phone with the case on it I'm not gonna try to force it because I don't want to break it and this is a pretty this is an otter box case the rubberized type and I have an LG phone which I don't know how big it is, but uh, the LG phone plus this Arta box. Okay, this is how far it's going. It needs to go about half an inch more. So I am gonna take it out of the case because I don't want to break it. This Arta box is made out of a, like a little rubber outer, and then the little plastic part. My phone is is pretty big, but it's it's pretty thin and skinny once it's out of the box. So let's try that again, shall we? got to keep it plugged in because I just got to turn it back on. So this is how big my phone is or wide it is. Let's try that again. It's pretty good. Goes right in. That's, this phone belongs to me. See that my little thing on there. This, this phone belongs to me. Somebody said, well, how's somebody going to call you if you lose your phone? Because uh, I have two phones. <laughs> the other phone actually picks up. All right, so that's in there like so. Ooh. Now, it seems like this is moving around quite a bit, but I wonder if I screw it in. Yeah, if I, if I tighten this base right here, it stops it from moving. So it's like this is connected to this, and you can tighten it up. And then this, and then this knob in the back is connected to that other ball. And then we've got this at the top. So there's a lot of thing, a lot of different moving parts on here. All right, what should we be covering next? Uh, to use an action camera, that means you're not, you know, you're out and vlogging. To use an action camera, connect the phone mount to the top of the tripod head. Use the screw to tighten the action camera to the mount by inserting the screw through the mount. What are you talking about? Is that the piece that I brought out that I was like, what is this? This is a screw for the action mount. I'm not really sure what they're talking about. Nope, not sure at all. Um, um, it looks like it might go through here, but I don't know why it would. Yeah, I'm totally confused. Okay, so when they say action camera, I'm pretty sure they're talking about a GoPro. To use this with an action camera, because, you know, there's that picture of that GoPro there, you need to put this there. Sorry about that glare. Whew, I'm telling you, this glare, this, this ring light is light. It's lit. Let's try it now. Okay. So here's the GoPro or action camera as they call it right here. And this little doohickey needs to go underneath it, but I don't understand why. 
I guess that's how GoPros work. I have no idea. So uh, I'm going to skip that part because <laughs> I don't have a GoPro. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't have an action camera. I've got just a phone and that's what it says using the camera with a phone mount and using it with an action camera. So if you've got a GoPro, make an unboxing and let me know how that goes because I don't have a GoPro. Using the microphone with a camera. Forgot about the microphone part. Here's the microphone. That's what I'm saying. This is a pretty good deal for 40 bucks. All this stuff. This is a really good deal. Mount the microphone on top of the camera using the microphone's cold shoe. Okay, can I get a picture of that? Found underneath the microphone. Okay, that's the shoe. The shoe is the part that screws on and attaches. I got that. Rotate the knob until the microphone fits securely onto the camera. Mm -mm. Don't get it. Because look, if you look at this picture here, it's, it's already kind of like telling you about the bracket. This is this bracket right there. So this is your smartphone. This little Y-shaped thing that kind of goes up and under it, the arm. And here's the microphone right here along with the light. So they didn't tell me to use the bracket yet. But I might have to use that because using the microphone with a camera. Mount the microphone, rotate the knob until the microphone fits securely. Move the microphone switch to camera setting. Yeah, this will definitely be a follow-up video. <laughs> this will be a follow-up video. Because like I said, I can see how all this stuff attaches to the arm. This is the arm that they got there. And like the shoe would go where? According to this picture. Yeah, the shoe would go there. Because... There's like a little square piece, and that square piece can slide on in there like so. I can see how that works. And then here's the LED light. I tried to, I tried to read the instructions, you guys, but sometimes you got to figure stuff out on your own. Here's the LED lights, and there's the threaded part underneath it. And here is like another shoe piece. I wonder why they call it a shoe. Like, I, I figured out what it meant a while ago, but there's another shoe piece, and there's that same square piece at the bottom. Whoop. I didn't snap it into place. One square goes here. One square goes here. Now you got a microphone. You got your light source. Um, and... See how there's a screw there on the top? And you see how there's a threads at the bottom? This would go between these two. So I mount, I already mounted my camera on here as if I'm going to use it on a table or, or you know, a stable surface. But if I was going to like go out walking with this and I was holding it and vlogging like that and I needed the microphone and I needed this, this would go between those two. Life of Key just popped in and said, what, what did I miss? You missed me dropping my phone. You missed the unboxing of this lapel microphone set, which is a microphone set that you put on your collar. There's two of them in here. You put them on your collar. You put it on the next person's collar. There's some extension cords. And then you connect them to your phone so you can conduct an interview and be heard more clearly. Right now, I've got a microphone set up because I'm in my studio, but if I'm out and about and I want to talk with somebody and uh, make sure that like a, a lot of background noise doesn't get picked up, you would use a lapel mic. So you can watch that part on the replay where I'm unboxing the Power Dewise interview set. It says that it works with uh, laptops, smartphones, tablets, and cameras. So that was the first part, and you just came in on me unboxing the uh, soup. What's the essential vlogging kit, which I was just saying, if you want to walk with this, you can walk with it and, you know, vlog. 
Um, here's the bracket part. This is all very lightweight. And I'm, I'm kind of snapping this stuff together real easy and not like putting it on intentionally. That's why it's kind of falling apart. Okay, so this top here, I'm going to keep screwing it down until I can see some more of those threads. And once I can see some more of those threads, now I can attach this part. It's like a multi-layered system here. This is the bracket. It seems kind of clunky, but it's it's lightweight. Life of Key says that's nice. I think so. And all of this for 40 bucks. This came from Walmart. The other one came from Amazon. It was 40 bucks as well. This was uh where did my receipt go? 39.88 from Walmart. Okay, so here's the bracket that's on there. And of course, I would want to it's loose, but once you put the other piece on top, it won't be loose. So if I'm walking, here we go. Got my little thing. Da -da 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 -da, right? This is already in the holder. Here's my smartphone. I'm not going to use my phone, so I'm going to unplug it. I know it's going to die again. But it's already in the phone holder. I showed that part a minute ago. And there's those threads again. So those threads are going to go on to this screw. And you don't want to over tighten it because this is like i said it's lightweight plastic so here i am vlogging da, 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 da. oh it's getting nighttime. i need my light where'd the little light go here's the led lights bright but not hot and that little square part it goes into this little snappy do see the little snappy do's i know those are technical terms right see the little snappy do's I'm going to snap that. Well, slide it, really. Seems like it can slide out pretty easily, too. You know what I would do? I would either get a piece of double-sided tape or something because as easily as it slides in, it slides right back out. Unless, unless Kenya... Okay, you see all those little screws there at the top? Once you start screwing those down, it's going to hold it in place. I smart. I have big brain. Is that all for phones or limited phones? Well, I think a lot of things are geared toward iPhones nowadays. I don't have an iPhone. I've got an Android phone. It's an older phone. And I did have to take off. I did have to take off my OtterBox, which is two pieces, the rubber piece and this plastic piece for protection. Um, because I didn't want to risk breaking this. I didn't want to risk breaking this part to hold it. And I think a lot of mounts are like that. A lot of phone mounts and tripods are just naturally, they only have enough space. So I think it's for all phones, but you may have to take off your protective case. All right, so let's see if I was right. I am unscrewing this down and yes, it is holding on. So it's not sliding out anymore. And if I don't want it to move around, like move around, move around, I'm gonna screw this other piece up. Like there's two screws on there. This bottom one holds it onto the bracket. This top one keeps the light from moving around. Yeah, it's not moving. And then back to the shoe mount for the microphone. Same setup. Got the little square piece. Slide it on in there. And this screw, this plastic dial on the side. I tighten it up and it will hold on to the bracket. This is a really good deal. I've, I've never seen this at Walmart before. Okay, the only only thing I see is my microphone is over here. I don't know if this little uh, plug will reach. Let's see, it should reach. Hey, it reaches. Look at that. I feel like a real vlogger now, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is the cheapy cheap version. In a minute, I'm going to unbox the not so cheap version or I might take it back. Shoot, if this works good, but this, this is just a stand. If I want to vlog, hey everybody, I'm out and about and vlogging with my new superstar vlog kit. Oh, it's nighttime. Let me turn on my little uh, LED light. You know what? I don't see a button. I don't see an on off button. Is that it on the side? Yeah. We got an on off button on the side. 
and a minute ago I was showing you guys some batteries so these are this is the leftover battery or ex extra battery for the remote control so let's say I'm vlogging da -da 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 -da. oh and to take a picture here we go that's the remote control we already got one of those in there and then this one I'm not really sure where this battery goes I don't know but anyways da -da 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 -da. now what I'm gonna unbox next is gonna be a gimbal 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 and I don't know what this is for either maybe charging that's the USB piece uh, Life of Key says who or what will be the first thing that um, you will that that thing onto uh, I don't really know what that one part word is is that for all phones or limited phones who or what will be the first thing that you interview is that what you're saying interview um, I, didn't, I didn't get that last part uh, and then of course I said again already these are the filters the filters for the light the the ring light that's in front of me is super bright I've got a filter over it. If I didn't have the filter over it, I, I would look real shiny. And my eyeballs would probably be burning up. Um, I still don't know what this part is for. But let's see how it does on the table. See, this is perfect. This is perfect. This is what I've been needing for a long, long time. Yeah, that's nice. Well, maybe I can't do it that way. I want to give you guys a solid surface to show you. There we go. That is a nice setup. That is a nice professional looking setup that you can be hands free. Um, and sometimes I, I sometimes I do like to vlog when I'm out and about. Like um, if you've checked out some of my videos on the main page, every once in a while I'll do a food review. I eat out so much, it's terrible. But if I'm going to eat out, I might as well make use of it, right? So I do a lot of food reviews, and I'm always trying to prop my phone up some kind of way so that it can see me and the food, and it's so awkward. But this is the perfect setup if you're out and about, and you either want to record yourself or record yourself and someone else. That's awesome. I'm going to do a quick, quick read-through of this um, user guide to see if I'm missing anything else, and then I'm going to go on to the next unboxing. I say make sure the microphone switches on it make sure the microphone switch is in the phone position okay so there's a button under here phone position Let's see if i can show you a little bit better yeah that's real nice that comes that 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 screws on and screws off real easy okay so here's the on off we got the phone we got the camera I do a follow-up video, probably a shortened, uh, edited version, so you guys can see some of the fe features and functions. Uh, okay. For an iPhone 7 or newer, you will first need to connect the Lightning to the 3.5 adapter, which is not included. Connect the microphones, a plug to the jack. For other models of smartphones, connect the microphone directly into the jack on the phone. That's what I did. Microphone should now work with your phone. Using the light diffusers, you just snap them on. Nothing too complicated about that. And that's it. That is the, those are the instructions for the Superstar Essential Vlogging Kit. And now we will move on to the finale. Got to save the best for last, right? I got to figure out what this goes to. Like this is a big old... This is a big old battery. What would this go to? That goes there. And thank you again all who are joining me on this live stream. It was very last minute. Tomorrow is my first day. I'm coming apart here. Tomorrow is my first day going back to school. And I'm going to be super duper busy. I'm going to be busy working. And I'm going to be busy... Um, going to school and I'm going to be busy studying stuff like that and so I have some pre-scheduled videos that will be coming out but I won't be able to like do stuff like this because I'm going to be busy studying all right here comes the big mama here comes what you all have been waiting for if you read the description title <laughs> this is the DGI, DJI Osmo Mobile 3 Combo and if you're thinking to yourself Kenya that's the same thing you unboxed 
Oh, no, no, no. Au contraire, mon frère, or mon frau. This is a gimbal. A gimbal is very similar to this. However, this is what you would call a, a static stand, a static um, holder. Let me scoot back so you can see me. If I'm out and about, whatever way that I'm moving, this phone is going to be moving too. So you're going to have a lot of um, unevenness while I'm recording, right? This, however, the gimbal has a gyroscope in it. And if you're walking or running or on an uneven surface, or even if you're driving and you're like going over a bumpy road, this evens out all that movement um, with the gyroscope in it. And it's got some other uh, functions in there. So I'm very excited about this. I've been wanting one of these for like a year now. The description, or not the description, the link to this is also in the description. If you all are ready to level up and check this out, I am so excited. All right. I don't have a, a knife in here, so give me a second because I don't have nails. I cut all my nails off. Fortunately, this one only has one sticker at the top. The other one had... Like one on the side, one on the top. All right. This is the Osmo Mobile 3 Combo. There's different models. I got the Combo Pack because from the different uh, YouTube reviews that I watched, I they, it was recommended to get the Combo. So here's the first big package that comes out. And here is the second big package. And after that, there is no more. Which one should I open up first? The big package or the little package? Let's see what's in this little package. What in the world? Some little felt pieces or something? Here we go. The instructions are inside for the Osmo Mobile 3. On this side and in this corner, we have the USB cable. <sighs> what kind of attachment is this? Is it similar? It's the new kind, y'all. This is the uh, USB-C connection. I was saying with the other one, is the US, uh, this is actually what my phone takes. I think we're kind of changing over into some new types of adapters, uh, phone adapters. So that's that US, USC, USB C uh, adapter. Something else in here. Oh, ah. This is, aha. Uh -huh. See, now this looks similar to what I just unpackaged, but it's not. Ba -ba -da. Handle. This is the handle. Get a handle on yourself. Now this is a handle, but it also opens up to be a stand. Pretty much like the other one. This one would be on the tabletop. Pretty much the same thing. Just different, different uh, opening size. And this one has the rubberized pieces on it already. This one has the little stickies on it. Rubber stickies. But yes, this will be the handle. And on this corner, in this corner, we have Miss Corey B. <sighs> Perfect timing because I didn't, I just happened to look up. Hello, hello, how are you doing today? I'm doing an unboxing. Well, obviously, that's what the thing said. Welcome, welcome. She's my friend. All my friends are on YouTube and you should be too. Yeah, I love this shirt. I love this shirt. All my friends are on YouTube. And you can be too. Subscribe. All right, on this side, we've got... Man, I am dropping stuff left and right. What in the world is going on? Okay, looks like we have a lanyard. A little like, lanyard piece. 
keep things from falling, you know, falling off like they are now. And this is what? In this box is the Osmo Mobile 3, the Osmo carrying case, which I haven't even gotten to that part yet. The Osmo grip tripod. That's what I just covered. The power cable. Um, that's what I just talked about too. And like I said, is this power cable is the new, the newer kind, the oval looking. Y'all can see, can y'all see that? The oval looking connection. The one from Walmart had the other type. Um, also, there will be a storage pouch, which is what this is, and the wrist strap, which is what's on my wrist. I need that shirt. <laughs> well, just wait. They may be merchandise coming up quite soon. But this is my self-promotion shirt, but I, I definitely am going to be making some other ones because I think for a lot of us, all of our, well, all of us creators, all of our friends are on YouTube. There we go. Got the nice little um, carrying case, I guess. What do you call it? Storage pouch. All right, now to the good stuff. That was in the smaller container. This is... This is the... Uh, what, do you, what do you call it when the miners are in the mountain and they're like, we've struck the mother load. Yeah, this is the mother load. Ooh, that's nice. That is just a nice, nice design, nice clean look. Uh, I don't know what you would call that, that texture, but it's like, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like there's some kind of uh, extra storage in the back there. Got the little zipper. Nice. Nice. And there we go. This is the Osmo 3. I thought they only put this kind of stuff in for food. The little silica packs. What is that all about? All right. And this is hard. It's soft, but it's a hard case. And this is it. Freeze! I said freeze, sucker. <laughs> I haven't been to the gun range in a while. I need to. I need to calm down. And then on the inside here, it looks like there's a little bit of cushion on the side to absorb it in case you drop the case. It will absorb it and protect it. And whoa, like this thing, like it don't want to move, and I'm scared to move it. Hold on, what does it say on the top? It says, and there's another one of those QRC codes. If you want to, like, scan it to get instructions from. Uh, the DGI MIMO app. What is a MIMO app? Activate the Osmo Mobile 3 when using it for the first time by following the steps in the DGI MIMO app. Okay, so I obviously got to download something. Let me grab my phone real quick and start downloading it before, um, while I'm getting to this other part. Now, what did I do with my phone? Oh, I forgot it's still in the tripod. My superstar, superstar vlogging kit. Less than 40 bucks at Walmart. That is a nice setup. That I will be incorporating into my uh, little studio here. Let's see. The Mimo app. Something popped up. Life of Key said lol. Life of Key said lol. La 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 la. And I have a, I don't have a smartphone. I mean, I don't have a smartphone. I don't have an iPhone. I have Android. But either way, it should be in the uh, Apple Store as well as the uh, Play Store. And what did I just say it was called? Mimo? M-I-M-O. The Mimo app. Okay. M-I-M-O. Yep. And it just popped up. M Mimo DGI. That's what it looks like there. And I'm going to install. And while I'm waiting for that to install, I'm going to see if I can pull this baby apart. Kind of looks like a stun gun, doesn't it? Looks like a stun gun or something like And it's got like another piece of that soft material there to protect it. Like I want to open it, but it's like so stiff and like mechanical that I don't want to like break anything. Oh, I didn't did it now. Oh, okay. Snaps back into place. What does that say? Phone camera direction. Okay. That's what that says right here on the top. Phone camera direction. Activate the Osmo Mobile 3 when using it for the first time. Press and hold the record button triggering M simultaneously for one second 
to forget the Bluetooth device. Okay, well, just tell me how to open this thing up because I don't want to break, break it. It costs too much money. Well, there is a diagram on the top. There's a diagram here. So let me see if I can figure it out. Because I think it might be a magnet that's holding it together. But again, it's the way it, it looks like it comes. It looks like it's like, oh, oh, you just lift it up. <laughs> but you hear how it snapped open? Like, it's like stiff. Like it's, I guess that's the way it's supposed to be to make sure you're um, vlogging properly. But okay, I get it. I get it. And now I don't even remember how I, how I had it back. Let me see. Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. So the way it goes back, where those remote control buttons are at, you want this thing to fold on the opposite side. Because from what I read from the reviews, it only fits one way in the case. So yeah, I got to remember that. All the buttons are on one side, and when I fold it back up, it's going to be on the opposite side. Because once it starts turning it around, it'll be like, oh, what am I doing? All right. Let's see if this DJI app is uh, opened up yet. Or downloaded yet. yet. Okay, it is. I got to plug my phone back in. Who else in the house has a, a, a fast dying phone? Is it just me? Because I got this old V20. My phone dies all the time. Okay, open that up. <laughs> And I'm sorry if I'm getting sniffy. I just can't give up the cheese. And it's always making me... Oh, my phone died. Okay, we're just going to bypass that part. And um, I'm going to see about what I can figure out with just the uh, instructions. Phone is always dying. Oh, wait, maybe it didn't die. I just had the, uh, I just had the brightness down. <laughs> and it timed out on me. It's on my bag. <laughs> but it does die quite often. All right, so allow DGIM Mimo to access your photos, media, and files on your device. No, give me my privacy. Of course, I'm going to say, yeah, I need to use the app. But uh, I watched some special on, is this the CBC or something? They're talking about how these apps spy on you. Oh, real quick, who watched? You don't have to watch, watch the whole video. Who watched the um, the video that I put out a minute ago? Was it yesterday, two days ago? Um, self-promotion 2.0 look at the last three or four minutes of it when my camera went boop, boop, and I wasn't holding it and it didn't like it didn't shift it's like it's it's almost as if the camera and in, lens inside went mm -mm. <laughs> it happened at the 10 minute and 20 second mark or something like that but anyways I said that because they say all these apps buy on us there's nothing private anymore um do you agree to all this stuff no of course, I need to use this. I want to use this, so I'm agreeing. Okay, do you want us to access your location? Why do you need that? Again, I need to use this, so yes. Okay, tap here to select file and start editing. Okay, I'm going to set that off to the side. What did it tell me? Oh, I see that something is moving over here. That's so cool. Is it heavy? No. But if you like, I can go get my... Uh, well, I probably don't need to go get it. I was going to get my uh, my little eBay shipping thing. It, it feels like it's about one pound, like exactly one pound. And yes, I know exactly what one pound feels like because I'm always shipping stuff first class. Maybe a pound and a couple ounces, but it's it's no more than that. It's not like two two pounds. Like I can I can very easily see myself holding this out as if I was just holding my, my phone. It's not heavy at all. I can't remember. I read it. It's on one of these uh, reviews. If you look it up on YouTube, they'll tell you it's like 1.1 pound and some ounces and stuff. Okay, let me see. I seen that creepy. Oh, you did. So you did watch it. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I sent it out to a couple of different places. I, I just took a snippet of my uh, of the whole video. The video was like 12 minutes long, but I took a 30 second snippet of it and I put it out on Reddit. I put it out on some other places. One person said, oh, you just had it sitting somewhere like, you know how I was tightening down. You know how I was tightening this stuff down and they said something just untightened. I said, no, it wasn't on a mount. It was it was sitting up on my shelf, up on my dash and it didn't slide and it didn't move. The phone itself didn't move. The The lens went. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> um, let's see. Step one. Go to this QRC code. I don't have a QRC thing and I'm not going to download it right now. 
and it also looks like it's telling me to plug it up and charge it that's the first picture there so you will need to charge this so if you're taking this out if you're buying it and you're like oh i'm gonna go out tomorrow to the beach and da 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 no you're gonna need to charge this and there's the charging port on the side i'm not gonna use it right now i'll do another review on it later but that's just to let y'all know There's that type of plug again, not the, uh, I don't know what you would call the other ones, but this is like an oval. I think it's called USB-C. Plugs in like so. I don't know if I could charge it through my laptop. Sometimes I, when I'm desperate, I'll charge my phone through my laptop. But because I don't have a block to put this in, I'm just going to put it in on my laptop real, real quick, real quick, real, real quick. And I do see some, some lights popping up. See that? So something's happening. But my not, my laptop is not acknowledging it. Like, you've just plugged in XYZ. Would you like to open this device? All right. Yep, I've figured it out. Step two is telling you how to open it. Step three, well, 2.5 is showing you how to put the phone in. So let's see. The phone goes here. Okay. And that little sticker says phone camera direction. What does that even mean? Are you telling me to put my phone in a certain way? Phone camera direction. Um, okay. I'm going to assume that that means put your phone right side up. And it does fit in there without the case. Just like the other one, it fits in without the case. Uh, make sure y'all can see all that. It's still on the app, by the way. Now, you're not going to be able to charge it up. I don't think you're going to be able to charge it and use it. So that's just going to be in the way like that. Okay, th from according to this picture, it's telling me to balance out my phone left to right and balance out my phone top to bottom. See that right there, the little balancing telling me to move my phone so that it's balanced left to right and balanced from top to uh, bottom. So let's do that now. Which again, I'm gonna have to unplug it to do. Um, well, how will I know when it's balanced? Okay, well, I don't think it's balanced um, that way. What is that noise? Oh, I started hearing some music playing. I'm already creeped out from the other day. I'm like, and it was like, ding, ding, ding. Like something was about to happen. Whew. I was not trying to press the uh, the button. Thank you for that, but I'm not trying to press it. Okay, so how am I supposed to do that? Okay, turn it right side up. Is it supposed to lock into place or something? I'm so confused. Anybody who has one of these, let me know. Because at this point, I'm like, it's telling me in this step right here. Uh, once I, Step two, open it up. Okay, got that. And then it says to turn it. Like, turn it? What do you mean, turn it? Am I supposed to turn it so that it stays into place? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how do you know if it's balanced? I have no idea. This will be a follow-up video. Because <laughs> at this point, I think I'm definitely going to have to watch the video. Watch the, the little whatever video that they're trying to tell me about. Was this made in Moscow? Why did that pop up? DGI creator, Osmo Pocket Monuments and Movements. Yeah. Um, this concludes the unboxing. <laughs> when powered off, press 1 once to check the battery level and press and pow hold the power on. I'll be doing a shorter shorter version of each of these things. The lapel mic, the superstar. I don't know why I'm saying it that way. I'm going to do a shorter version, each of their own, of the superstar by DigiPower and the... Osmo 5 
and the lapel mics wherever they went so y'all can get just the necessary information without me trying to fumble through and figure out what the heck is going on <laughs> but yeah i did want to open it up with you guys to see what there was to see and share with you um my vlogger swag yeah i don't know what that means oh okay yeah now i see something like snaps into place hear that it's loose and then you snap it into place that's how they want you to uh balance it and then you balance it the other way But again, I will figure that out, and once I know for sure, I come on here to let you guys know what's the what, and what's the not, and yeah. At this point, it is 3.40 in the afternoon. You guys have a great day. It's time for me to take a nap, because I'm not a day walker like you guys. I am a night walker, and I've got to go into work tonight, and then tomorrow starts the first day of school. I've only got two classes, but that's more than enough, um, seeing that I got everything else going on, like a full work schedule. But I'm so happy that y'all came in to, jo uh, to join me. Um, I've been wanting, like I said, I've been wanting this gimbal for a really long time because I want to start getting out more and doing more vlogging and stuff like that. Um, show you one more thing. This is the handheld thing that once you screw it into the bottom here, you can use this on a tabletop. Just like I can use the other one on the tabletop. See that? Or I can take it off and go out, you know, moving around. And it's supposed to keep up with you. And it has some extra features like slow-mo and zoom or something like that. This is my late Christmas, early, late Christmas, early birthday, early vlog. Uh, no, I was going to say vlogmas. Early uh, anniversary. My one-year anniversary is coming up February 23rd. And even though I probably won't be monetized by then, I still definitely want to celebrate because I think it's a big deal to be on this platform and stay alive and surviving on the YouTube streets when there's so much going on and you're trying to trying to do your best and trying to share your life and trying to become YouTube famous. I mean, that's the truth of it, right? You're trying to everybody's trying to make their mark, leave their mark on the YouTube streets and it, it can be difficult and so I'm happy I'm just doing it this long because with my other channel it lasted not even six months and I had to shut it down but I'm here like Whoopi Goldberg said in the color purple something else something else something something else but I'm here I'm here yay school exactly I love being school if I could be a permanent student I would be if like if I could just go to college because I'm a nerd I love learning I love books but you got to work Gotta, gotta work. Ah. I'm sorry if you already answered. I didn't hear. Is it heavy? No, it's not. It's, it's one pound, like one pound and one ounce with my phone on it. It'll probably be about two pounds, but, um, no. And then the, like with the ergonomic design, uh oh, I don't want to break it again. The way that it's like designed that it kind of goes in your hand, forms in your hand. I think it would be very comfortable. And I think because of the way that it's you could probably you could probably um whoop, whoop, whoop. back it up back it up back it up <laughs> back that thing up um you could probably hold it somewhat close to your body i don't know somewhat close to your but they say though the closer that you hold things to your body the less muscles that you use so you won't tire yourself out but if you were vlogging up like this and you have to switch hands back and forth to give your arm a rest. The way that gimbal is designed, it's not going to pick up that movement. So I don't think it would be an issue. But no, it's not heavy. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like it's about a pound. I'm an expert at that part because, like I said, selling on eBay, I'll guesstimate how, how heavy something is. And then I put it on the scale and I'm like, oh, it was only off by a couple ounces. It's not heavy. But once you get it set up and you're moving back and forth just to give your hand a rest, um, the smoothness of the gimbal should even it all out. <sighs> Have a great day, you guys. I got to get me a nap, a uh, couple hours nap, and go into this J-O-B. One day, one day I'm going to look back and say, I did all that. But now I'm a millionaire. 
I don't have to. <laughs> you got to dream big, right? You got to dream big. One day, YouTube, my YouTube channel will be where I want it to be. And I will have all my other things in place. And I'm going to be one of those people that are not in a closet, but, you know, having a nice little professional, cute background, cute little minimalist background talking about. And this is how I made my millions on YouTube. When I got my first check, it was $5,000. I don't know how much they are, but <laughs> again, one can only dream. Thank you guys. This is the point where I sing my new my new uh outro song. <laughs> exactly. You got to you know, you got to dream. Got to put it into motion, speak it into existence. I don't have to be a millionaire. I can be a half a millionaire, you know. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Entrepreneur Drive 40 Entrepreneur Drive Entrepreneur Drive 40 Entrepreneur Drive Entrepreneur Drive 40, Entrepreneur Drive. Thanks for watching, share, like, and subscribe. That's catchy, isn't it? Entrepreneur Drive 40, Entrepreneur Drive. Entrepreneur Drive 40, Entrepreneur Drive. Entrepreneur Drive 40, Entrepreneur Drive. Thanks for watching, share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow me on social media.